Welcome everybody back to V1 Kids News. I'm your host, Kokomo Joe. Wait a minute, did you say Kokomo? That's right, Bradley. Aruba, Jamaica. Nope, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually Kokomo Joe. Thank you for joining us today here online with V1 Kids. I love to be your host and Bradley's back with us as our co-host and we've got a lot of exciting things to do today. <laughs> That's funny. You think I'm the co-host? <laughs> you are the co-host, Bradley. Anyways, we're going to take it on over to start off today's newscast with our very own Haley's Comet. She's shooting across the star, the sky. Wait, she is a star. Shooting across the sky, and she's going to share with us today's memory verse on how God is the Holy One. Let's get right into it. Over to you, Teacher Haley. What's up, boys and girls? My name is Teacher Haley, and this week's Ponder Point is God is the Holy One. We can find our memory verse in Psalm 99.5. Let's go through it twice. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Let's do it one more time. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Psalm 99.5. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's get back into the studio. Welcome back, guys. Great seeing you all here today. Uh, hey, Haley, you did a wonderful job. Uh, we are very proud of you. And uh, hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's memory verse. You know what? I got to say something. He's trying to talk like me right now, and he's not going to because I am unique. That's right. Just like you're unique. You got weird eyes, and you're orange. That's weird. Anyways, that was a great memory verse as we got to learn about how to exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Because he's holy. Yep. That's right. Wait, holy. Anyways. You mean full of holes? No, he's holy. That means he's pure. He's righteous. He's God. Ha <laughs> ha. That's great news. Anyways, we're going to take it on over because we got so much energy right here. And we're going to talk about, or actually, we're going to join in on V1 Kids Worship. I'm excited to dance and boogie on down for Jesus. So let's take it on over to our worship studio. Go ahead and take it on over to worship studio. Uh, over to our worship studio right now. V1 Kids, take it on.
this world be a better place But by thy mercy, by thy grace Kiss all I want in this lifetime exciting i am not out of breath because i did not dance like bradley did and i can't believe you are breathing correctly never mind he's out of breath again ladies and gentlemen i hope you're not because we've got some more fun for you we get to hear the best part of this news online service newscast that's right we get to hear from pastor chad as he's going to be teaching us again that god is the holy one wait 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 kokomo joe quick question that's my name don't wear it out bradley okay i have a quick question Yes. These socks are full of holes. Does that make them holy? <laughs> Anyways, let's take it on over to Pastor Chad because we're going to actually hear something that benefits our life rather than holy socks. We're going to hear that God is the only holy one. Take it on over, Pastor Chad. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday morning online service here at Visalia First Kids. Hey, we're excited to have you here with us. Uh, you know what? I gotta say, um, it has been hot outside, but hey, it is great to know that we can come together to be with each other here online. I got a question for you. Have you ever been forced to go somewhere you didn't want to go or sit by someone you didn't want to sit by? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, this was similar to what happened to the Jewish people during the time of the early church. You see, the emperor of Rome forced them to leave everything familiar and go to a strange new place. But before we hear what happened, let's pray. Father, thank you for bringing us together. We ask for your encouragement and we ask for your truth and that your word goes forth and touches our hearts, Lord God. Thank you for all that you do for us. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Wow. A couple weeks ago, you heard about two people who got kicked out of their home in Rome because they were Jewish. Who were they? You remember? Ah, that's right, Priscilla and Aquila. They were Paul's friends. But Priscilla and Aquila weren't the only believers forced from their homes. You see, many Jewish people during that time needed to leave their homes. But they knew that God is the Holy One and they trusted Him. Because that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about how God is the Holy One. How do you think the believers felt after they had to leave their homes? How would you feel? You see, they probably felt very afraid do you think they wanted someone to encourage them? Of course they did, right? Well, today I'm going to share a letter that the Apostle Peter wrote to encourage these people. You can check it out, Peter's letters, and read it with me. Let's go right into 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter 1.1 1, 1 tells us this. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, 
Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Hmm, interesting, right? So who was Peter? Ah, you're right. Peter was one of Jesus' disciples and a close friend. Peter helped start the first church and told many people about Jesus. You see, when the Christians were scattered from their homes and persecuted for their beliefs, Peter wrote them a letter to encourage them. It may have looked sort of like this, right? A letter. Peter wrote this letter to believers in several different provinces or areas, sort of like states, right? So those were the provinces where the Christians lived that Peter wrote to. And at that time, letters were sometimes given to a messenger who carried the letter to different places. If that's what happened with Peter's letter, the messenger read it to different churches. And those churches may have made copies of Peter's letter and passed it along to other churches. Let's read through some of the parts of Peter's letter together. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11 tells us this. Dear friends, I urge you, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful desires which wage war against your soul. Whoa. Hmm, that's interesting. What do you think Peter called the people in the church? That's right, foreigners and exiles. What do you think? Those are good thoughts. Well, imagine waking up tomorrow morning in a brand new country, right? Where everything is different. The people, the language, the food, even the holidays. How do you think you would feel? Well, that's what it was like for the people in these churches. See, they were different, right? They served the one true God who is the only, the Holy One. See, the people around them in their new homes did not serve the one true God. Let's read 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14 through 15. Let's check it out. The Bible tells us, As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. Hmm. Interesting. Why do you think Peter told the people not to conform to the evil desires they used to have? Well, before they knew about Jesus' love for them, they did evil things. But now God was calling them to be different because they trusted and obeyed Jesus. They were Christians. Peter told them to be holy in everything they did because God is the Holy One. Let's go to the next scripture. We're gonna be in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15 through 16. The Bible says this, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy as I am holy. Hmm, what do you think it means to be holy? Hmm, that's good thinking. See, to be holy means to be set apart, away from sin and close to God. You see, when we choose to trust and obey God, we're choosing, we're choosing to live a life that pleases God and a life that will be different from the rest of the world. People will notice this, right? Some people will see our lives and want to know more about what makes us different. Others may laugh or make fun of us or even be cruel or unkind. But when Peter wrote this letter, he knew many Christians were being persecuted for believing in Jesus. Does anybody know what it means to be persecuted? Those are good answers. Being persecuted means people make you suffer because of what you believe. Peter encouraged all those being persecuted to remember the hope they had in Jesus. You see, he wanted them to remember that as God's holy people, they've been set apart to serve God and shine his light in the world. Let's go to the next scripture. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with His blood. When we choose to trust and obey Jesus, God calls us to be holy because He is the Holy One. But we can't live holy lives in our own strength. God made us holy and He gives us the Holy Spirit to strengthen us to live holy lives. As we trust and obey God, His Holy Spirit changes us to become more like Jesus. That's right. When we go through difficult times, it feels hard to stand out in a world where everyone wants to fit in. But we can remember that the hard things we go through on earth won't last forever. Whew, that's good news. One day we'll be with Jesus forever in heaven. Let's go to one more scripture in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 
and 10. See what the Bible tells us. It says here, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not, once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. And once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. You know, because we're God's holy people, where is our true home? Do you know? Good answer. It's in heaven with God. You see, that's what we get to look forward to, living forever with God. And because of this, Peter didn't want God's people to worry about fighting. And while they lived in this world, he wanted them to show the world that they were different. Why? Because, because they belong to God. And God is the Holy One. Wow. Let's read one more scripture. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. Let's check it out. It says here, Live such good lives among the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. You see, boys and girls, as believers, we will automatically be different from the world. We will automatically stand out. And even though this might sound scary, we have the Holy Spirit to fill us with the power and courage to live holy lives. And as we continue, as we continue to live holy lives, the world around us will see that. And someday they too may glorify God, repent of their sins, and turn to Him. The words of Peter's letter to the scattered believers are still true for us today. That's true. Hey, I want to encourage you today. Just like this word shares with us about how we were a chosen people, a royal priesthood. That's you and me. But in order to be that, we have to make the decision to follow Jesus. Are you willing to follow Jesus today? And even though troubles might come, we know that he's there with us. All we gotta do is pray together. We believe in our heart, we confess with our mouths. And that's right, the Bible says what we say. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this day. And Jesus, thank you for my life. Please forgive me for all my sins. I just wanna live for you. Help me be holy as you are holy. Cleanse me and wash me. And Holy Spirit, fill me. Tell me what to do, because I'm all yours. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so proud of you, boys and girls, or those that are watching us today. Maybe it's an adult. Maybe it's a youth. Whoever it is, we want to say congratulations. If you made that prayer, we have a Connect card, and we want you to fill that Connect card out. We want to know more about you. We want to know that you made that awesome and amazing decision. All you got to do is go to visaliafirst.com slash kids and fill out that information there for us and let us know. Check that box that I received Christ today. Not only that, but we have a spot for prayer requests and praise reports. We want to hear about your life, what you need prayer for, and what God's doing in your life. So make sure you do share that with us. All right, so make sure. Wipeout Adventure, right? Our Wipeout Summer Splash you got to register by sellyourfirst.com slash kids. We want you to be a part of it. So come on down and make sure you register. It's a three-day event. It's $30 per child, but I'm going to tell you this. It's three days of epic fun. Plus, if you're a, a parent or an adult, a guardian who would like to volunteer and join the fun for free, you can sign up as a volunteer for free. We'd love to have you come and join us. Also, Girls Ministry and Royal Rangers is happening in September, and you can sign up at kids at sellyourfirst.com. We want you to be a part of it. It's gonna be great. It's a Wednesday night class right here on the campus and there's all kinds of cool stuff that we're gonna be doing. So make sure you sign up and come on down here. And if you're ready to join us in person, Sundays at 9 and 11 a.m., come on down right here to buy, sell you first. We wanna see you. Hey, we love you guys and we thank you. We're praying for you. And remember, God is the Holy One. Wow, wisdom, knowledge, truth. I can't believe it. It is just driving me crazy. That was amazing. Indeed it was. That was great as a monster truck rally on a That's what I'm talking about. We need to have more voices like that online here at our V1 Kids studio. Welcome back, Bradley. Wine drop. Thank you for finally getting it right. I'm finally talking your voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What an incredible message as we got to hear about Peter's letters to the Jewish Christian. That's right. How important these letters really were and the impact that they made on the Christian people. 
just like God's word. It is actually a letter. It's a love letter that when we read it, we're hearing about God's love for us and for his people and for those to come to know him. It's incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> it's really awesome. It's the basis of the entire gospel. Yeah. Anyways, it was great being able to learn today about how God is the Holy One. Indeed. Oh, let me wait. Oh, that reminds me. We've got the VBS coming up on the 29th through the 31st. Wow, that means we've got one more week. <gasps> one more week till VBS starts. So if you haven't signed up, you better get on the ball and tell your parents to sign you up. Go on ahead, do it today. That's yeah. right. Sign up now. You don't want to miss out at visceliafirst.com slash kids. You can find the link there. Register. Get it going. We'll see you down here. It's going to be fun. And I will be signing autographs. Oh, wait. I can't sign autographs. I don't have hands. Anyways, oh. don't forget about Royal Rangers and Girls Ministry. You can sign up at kids at visceliafirst.com. And we want to see you here. You're going to learn all kinds of cool stuff. How to shoot bow and arrows. How to axe throw. How to row a canoe. Or anyways, hold on. Got something in my how eye. to drive a monster truck. Not oh, how to drive a monster truck, right, but how to make a race car derby car. It's going to be awesome and epic. So sign up. Kids at ViceliaFirst.com. It's for K through six. We want to see you there. Well, I, uh, I guess it really kind of covers all the bases. So, it sure uh, does. So I guess we'll see them next week right here, back, you and me and him for B1 Kids, B1 News. Kids News. That's right. See you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.